number. Okay. So again, what third iteration? What is the third iteration now? R is equal to two. R is equal to now one. What is sub? Sub is equal to five. Five plus one. That is six. Then num is equal to what? This is our original number now. One. Discard the first digit. That is nothing. So remaining is zero. Okay. Then fourth iteration requires no. So you got the condition for while loop now. What is the condition for while loop? Till upper end upon repetition iterations correct? Till num becomes zero. If num becomes zero, don't need extra iteration. Clear? So we want to stop here. In third iteration. So you got the condition. When to stop that loop? So think very lower level. How you make the addition of the digits at the first standard or senior kg like that? That thinking is required. Then programming is easy, and that is not our thinking. Our thinking is faster, jumping. Then it is not useful here for programmer. Very lower thinking is required. Okay. So what what we want? First, develop <coughs> logic. This is our logic. Okay, how we can make addition of digits for particular number. So just understand what we will do in three steps. Okay, and that three step we want to now convert into C language. Okay. Okay. So we write here code. So, make the structure first. What is our thing? First, make the structure syntactically. How? While. <coughs> then here is a condition. Then curly bracket. Then this is our structure. Then write the body of loop. Always write body. Then decide the condition. How many times that same code we want to execute? Clear. So, what is the first step? Separate first digit from the number. Separate first digit. Okay. Clear. This is the number. This is the first number. Second number. Second digit. This is the first digit. This is second digit. This is the third digit. In your number. This is the number. All is a number. So convert. Logic is now clear. So now convert your logic into particular language in code. So how to separate first digit from your number? So number is stored into which variable? No. So we require no. After separating that number digit, first digit from your number, where we want to store in variable R. Ah. So take variable R. Ah. Declare integer variable R. Okay, just think. Okay, so how to separate first digit from this number? Num is number. So current value of num is suppose one two three, one hundred twenty three. We want to separate three now from that number. So what is? How we can obtain? What is your thinking? There are different types of operators we already seen, okay, and used in in our program. So, which operator? Hmm? Mod. Mod function or mod operator? Okay. Mod operator. So suppose, ha? Huh? What mod? Mod of what? Ten. Okay, so what it what it gives? One twenty three mod of ten. Twelve is quotient and three is reminder. One day number la, the another bar ka do la. Then after the baki ka hai the first digit in that number. What like it? Suppose one twenty mod of ten. 
mod gives you mod operator gives you reminder what is the reminder zero if here 127 then what is the reminder seven that is our end result that is we want to separate in this first step we want to separate first digit from our given number so mod operator is applicable here and mod of 10 if you want to separate two digits from particular number then mod of 100 three digits then mod of 1000 because it separates that numbers from uh, digits from that particular number there are different logical problem statements are there for that this thinking is required so you convert okay so we convert first statement into you our c programming statement this is our thinking, we can convert it into our C language code. Clear? It's clear? So, if number is 1, 2, 3, mod of 10, what it gives? 3. Okay, so current value of R is now 3. This 3 value is assigned to variable R. Is that clear? Any doubts that we want? First iteration R current value of R is 3. So now it is second step. What is the second step? Sum is equal to. Okay. So again, sum, what we want? We want to store digit sum in that sum variable. So what is the initial value of sum? 0. So first declared sum, not declared, it is must initialize. Otherwise it is garbage. Java variable initialize the bag. Ha R variable. Initial value garbage. But Java use kare chadi. Kuda use kill statement here. I use killer. But R use kata na kai kill. Like a direct use kill. Like a value assign kill. So initial value ka mana or right on the Clear. Tama it again problem is nine. But it over sum is equal to sum plus kind of the R. Sum is equal to sum plus R. That is the first digit. First digit is the same. But if sum is not initialized, then the initial value is garbage. Garbage plus whatever may be the digit. So it gives you another number. And that number gets stored into sum. Again. Clear? So it gives you wrong result. Clear? Yes. Okay. Now what is the second step? Second step is what? Sum is equal to sum plus R. 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 But before that, we want we use here in this place. So this sum must initialize to zero. As per our program's requirement, it initialize to zero. Clear? Any doubts? So what is the result? Sum is equal to sum plus r. So initial value of sum is zero plus r. Initial value is three. So it becomes now four. And now current value of sum is four. Okay. Next step. Now third step. What we want? We want to discard or delete la first digit from that number. Because again we repeat these steps for new number, remaining number. First digit is discarded or deleted. So whatever may be the remaining number, same steps we apply repeatedly. So we want to use loop here. Clear. So, what is the third step? How do we discard or delete first digit from that number? Hmm. Current value of num is num. Num contains now 1, 2, 3. Now. Okay. So, we want now 12, not 123. Because already 3 digit is added into some variable. So we want the remaining digits. That is 12. We want only 12 numbers. So how? Num huh? divided by 10. What division operator gives you? Quotient. Bhaga ka. Clear? So if you divide num by 10, so 123 divided by 10, what is the quotient? 12. And that quotient is now stored into which variable? Num, num itself. That is also one logic. We cannot use different variables. Here we can use different for reminder. 
here we can use different variables that is sub to store the addition or digit the addition of the digits and here we take suppose new variable then it is also wrong because whatever will be the condition part condition part is depends on num variable okay so we cannot use different variable here we can store whatever will be the number into num variable is that clear huh? and repeat these steps until what it means until until num becomes zero so what is the condition here what is the condition here ah uh, study already conditional operator relational operators logical everything which operator now less than less than equal to zero okay so check one twenty three first number less than equal to zero greater than equal to zero now one twenty three greater than equal to zero okay so this loop get executed then it becomes twelve it okay then it becomes one it's okay it becomes zero Zero greater than equal to yes. Yes. Condition true. Again, loop executed. So only greater than. So what it becomes now? Zero greater than zero. False. And loop get terminated. Okay. So this is one condition. Any other condition is there? This is one condition. No problem. This is also true. Any other? Huh? Yes. Num. Okay, this is the second condition. Num not equal to zero. Okay. This will be first one two three. Not equal to zero. Condition true. Not equal to. Not equal to is also a condition uh, comparison or relational operator. Okay. It gives if the relation is true, then it gives one. If it is false, then it returns zero. So 123 not at 123 not equal to zero. Yes, it's true. So what's the guy? It returns one. For 12, it's true. For one, it's true. And when it is zero, zero not equal to zero, it's false. So it is also working. This condition is also working. So 